All right, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create animated hair on your actual character. Um, this is one of the things that people are always asking me about uh, how it's done. And for some reason, uh, it's not really quite clear to people. So I'm going to try to make it as easy as possible today. Uh, so what I've done is I've imported uh, Crazy Talk's standard default um, uh, G2 dummy character just to use as our base. I'm not going to use the G2 uh, Plus for now because I don't really want to mess with any of the extra stuff right now. Uh, which is going to be focusing on standard G2 character. And uh, what we're going to do is um, this requires you to actually have a template. Now, you don't have to work with the template, uh, but it actually helps. So in this case, I have my Kevin template. And uh, I'm just looking at the front angle for now. G2 characters have 10 angles, so this is just one of 10. Um, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to go inside of the sprite for the back of the hair. And I'm just going to quickly create a 20 frame sequence. First keyframe is exactly the same as the uh, <clears throat> final uh, keyframe. That way it starts exactly the same way that it ends. Somewhere in the middle, I'm going to create another keyframe. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to uh, do some some basic uh, just gentle moving around nothing too drastic now you can be as drastic as you want but in this case I just want some subtle uh, swaying of the hair so when I select uh, these uh, frames here and create a classic shape tween I end up with something that looks like this okay so nothing too fancy, it's just a basic uh, uh, animation cycle. So next, uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, Crazy Talk cannot read what's not there, so it doesn't know what tweening is, really. So <laughs> we have to turn this into a frame-by-frame -frame animation. So now, each individual frame has its own individual image. And the other thing I want to do is I'm going to remove that last frame. Only because after this one, it's this one here. That way I don't have two frames next to each other that are exactly the same. I can just play it like that. Something happened here, didn't quite work out. Let's uh, go back a step. Let's do one at a time, create frame by frame animation. Okay, that worked fine. Now let's do that one also. There it is. All right, so now let's remove that frame. Perfect. Uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go outside here. We're going to click on the front hair uh, animation here. I mean, uh, symbol. So in this uh, symbol, also known as a sprite, I'm going to create a 20 frame sequence with the middle frame being slightly different. Nothing too fancy, just for the sake of getting this done nice and quickly. So it's going to look like that. So we're going to go create frame by frame animation. And we'll remove that last frame. You don't have to. I like removing because I don't like to have duplicate frames when I don't need them. <clears throat> and the reason I'm using uh, the model itself to do this is because uh, it's going to keep the sizes exactly the same as my original model. Now, you don't have to do this, but um, 
Now notice what happens when I go ahead and export this. I'm going to go into Crazy Talk now and import our SWF template. All right. So what you what you can see here is that the Crazy Talk has brought in our template as it expects to bring it but our front hair angle, uh, I mean, it wasn't developed this way, so it doesn't know that it needs to do this. Uh, so it doesn't bring in any additional frames as sprites or it doesn't bring in any embedded frames uh, uh, as animated symbols or anything like that. So what we end up with, once I go into the actual animation mode here is something that looks like this I, I am playing it right now but as you can see it's just a single frame so it didn't bring in our animated hair so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go back to our template alright so we're gonna take this copy the front hair create a new project action script 3 it doesn't really matter the size I'm gonna paste it in the center there and we're going to export it front hair we're going to get rid of this next and we're going to bring in the next one copy paste in center export movie And that's it. I don't really need to save that because I have all of these in my template. And um, notice that I didn't change the uh, transform options or anything like that. I kept everything exactly the same size. So when I go to Crazy Talk here, and I'm going to go one more time into the composer. And uh, now this is kind of exploiting... Um, uh, the same feature in Crazy Talk that allows you to bring in an animated uh, prop. Because after you bring, brought in your template, you can go into the sprite editor. I have my front hair selected here. I'm going to select it again just to make sure I got it selected. And use the replace current sprite. Uh, option now now you could bring it in as a secondary sprite so that later on you can do sprite switching and switch back and forth um, but that's a little too uh, too much for this for this which is gonna um, let's see here front hair So now that we brought that in, we're going to select that back sprite. And notice that it pretty much kept it exactly the same size. Alright, so it kept it the same size because I didn't change anything. I used the exact sprites from the template itself. Uh, so now when we go into the editing mode here and we just hit play, we have animated hair. So you can do these in your animation. So once you combine these with other animations such as just walking animation. Let's uh, make this a little longer so you can see it better. Now you have like additional 
uh, follow through on the hair. Uh, looks a little bit more natural, not too shabby. <clears throat> you can uh, combine this now with uh, the uh, fa uh, facial puppeteering controls. And uh, I'm just going to go in here real quick. Just kind of, let's see here. Yeah, that's good enough. We'll try that for a minute and record it. All right, good enough. So this is about 196 frames, 197. I'm just gonna shorten down the full sequence. So now you can see our animated hair in action with uh, actual character animation. Uh, some basic stuff happening so it could really add um, a great deal of production quality to your work uh, doing this sort of thing now obviously if you don't have the actual template for a character uh, you don't need it you can just uh, draw your um, your animated sprites basically your animated props uh, without the need of the template but just know that it's not gonna uh, line up exactly in terms of uh, the actual size so here's one that I did without the use of uh, the character template and basically I brought it in as a as a um, prop right now so you can kinda see it it's just like a little a little prop could probably put that on a torch or a candle or something but I'm gonna be using that as my hair we'll go into character composer mode and naturally you'll want to do uh, for the different angles uh, you know not just the front or whatever angle you need really you don't have to do them all if you don't need them so here's my back sprite And replace it with this back hair uh, fire and because it's not it wasn't built using the the template uh, it doesn't have the correct uh, size so we're gonna have to readjust that you know it's a little bit of work but it's doable All right, that's good enough. Let's do the front hair next. Um, and of course, we're going to have to adjust that. And uh, all right, so that one was done without the template. Of course, if you have the template to the character that you're going to work with, it helps because it allows you to keep the, the sizes and work with the actual size for the animations that you want, especially if it's like hair or something. But in this case, it's, uh, it's not hair. It's kind of using more of like a special effect prop type of thing. And uh, that's how you do that. And it stays with the character. It is the actual hair uh, sprite. So does whatever the hair does. Here's a little demo. All right. So hopefully uh, you enjoyed that and uh, you'll get a lot of use out of that. If you have any questions, please feel free to shoot them my way. Um, also, uh, be sure to check out my website, sinistarinteractive.com. I'll have Kevin available for sale um, over the next week or so. And uh, hopefully you'll be able to do all sorts of cool stuff with him. Um, other than that, have a great day, guys.